whatever it is that's on your mind or to rant about anything? Well, of course, yes, but uh, it depends on the location right now because I really want to rant about, you know, something going on in Nigeria. I'm in Nigeria right now. Do it. Go for it. Oh, feel free. Uh, okay. Um, there is a show going on in Nigeria, and I, I would, you know, like to express my mind. It's actually the Big Brother Niger. I don't know if you've heard about it. What, um, what city are you? Hey, hey, I'm uh, I'm in the country of Slovakia. I'm in a city called Banska Bystrica, and um, I have no idea about what's going on where you are. So fill oh. me in. Fill me in. Let me know what the story is. Okay, um, it's a reality show. Okay. And the name of the show is Big Brother Niger. Uh, okay, so is this where they get a group of people and they put them in a, like a place or flat, a house together, and they film everything that goes on? Is that the... That's what that, it is. That's what it is. So you watch, okay. them, you watch them every day. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're like a fly on the wall in their apartment or their home, right? Because, Something. man, when you're home and you want to just chill and you just want, I mean, you just want some drama, just tune in and you're, I mean, you're in. That's it. Uh, yeah. So, so what's your perspective on it? You think it's it's good, bad? What, what's what's the story? What's your perspective? Uh, well, perspective now, I think it's good. You know, um, considering the current situation of uh, the country right now, um, you know, the economic. Okay. Uh, what do I say now? The economic is. I mean, the economy is not really too good. So this is a, a way to empower. You know, young people. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, yeah, yeah. It's uh, when you say empower people, you mean it's like to to give them a positive outlook for the future, to give them hope, something like exactly. that. Exactly, positive outlook for the future, and um, you know, uh, at the end of the day, someone has to win a whooping prize of forty-five million naira. Um, is that a lot? I mean, how much is you know, what's That's that in dollars or euros? If you, if you would say in dollars, um, I would have to do my calculation. I'm not really good with figures right now. But let's just say it's a lot, right? Oh, yeah, it is. It's a lot, yeah. Uh, um, that's a life-changing, that's a life-changing, I mean, amount of money. So is this is this like the like, usually when they have programs like like this usually they become like the most watched program in the country the most talked about program so are, are there like millions of people watching this or matter of fact matter of fact it's it's more like one of the biggest show in Africa oh okay okay so okay and, um, there is actually a situation in the house yeah there's this lady she's she's I wouldn't know if it is complexity. Every time she comes up on the show, every time you see her, she's having issues with everybody. Everybody's always wrong and she's always right. Yeah. Do you, do you think that's like uh, just, is it just her or is it like some kind of female perspective? Or do you think that, you know, she's deliberately like planted in the show to create conflict? I mean, what's, what it's do you not, think? It's, it's not created in the show to create conflict. She's actually one of the housemates and she's not even strategic in any way. It's not like she, someone had to put out there to... You know, great price <laughs> the house. No, that's not what it is. Mm -hmm. so okay. It's, this is just her person. All right. Well, there, there are people that there are people that just have issues with everything, right? <laughs> there are the, point that... is, the point is, you know, I'm actually trying to check it out from a guy's perspective right now. Okay. Now, when you have a lady, I mean, everybody in the house, irrespective of your gender, male, female, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, this, this, lady had i mean has issues with everybody and you know yeah that's what it is and you know um there is this particular guy mm -hmm. he, you know he's he's cool he's calm and um and is collected so to say and um this lady is just every time on his nerves uh-huh and you know this is a reality show you have to stay cool you have to stay calm you don't have to you, know, you don't have to i mean you don't have to be temperamental or you don't have to let your emotions run you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i get it yeah so and um it's really now the show is about to come to an end and this mm -hmm. is really affecting this guy's vote uh-huh uh-huh okay you know when you're not stable emotionally 
Yeah, well, you the, the pressure builds up, right? I mean, like the the volcano is calm until it explodes, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Exactly, that's the right word. And, you know, and right now, it's, I mean, this guy has come to a place where you know sometimes I mean, you're human, like you said, you know. I, I mean, you you just have to explode sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah. You've got to you got to let it out, right? One yeah, way or another. Yeah. But what do the fans think about you? What do the I mean the viewers? What do they think mm -hmm. about you? Mm. Yeah, well, the, there's there's. Mm -hmm. Hello, go on, go on. Yeah, I was just I was just thinking that it's, um, you know, uh, there's there's this old saying that there's no such thing as bad publicity, right? Hey. Meaning that me, meaning that uh, that. You know, look at the newspapers, right? Look at the tabloids. Look at the, you know, they're full of gossip and little stories about people, most of them um, in, inconsequential, sort of not important. And yet people, people have an interest in that. They, they have a curiosity about that. And, and, you know, sometimes when you, sometimes when you, you lose it, you blow up, you explode, you, you can become even, even more popular and, Maybe that's not even what you want, right? But uh, you know, take a take a celebrity, a personality who goes through a divorce. Okay, suddenly the stories about them are all over the newspapers, right? It's like it's like they're a celebrity. They want publicity, but they don't want that kind of attention on for for that kind of reason, right? Yeah. So even even the bad can become good in a certain way. So if this person sort of loses his temperament and loses his cool, there, there will probably be a lot of people who've kind of got sympathy for him and there'll be a lot of people that it polarizes as well. You know, people will be pushed in different directions and I imagine what the directors of the show want is they, you know, they they want some kind of spark. They want something yeah, for people some, some to kind talk of about. Yeah, I had... Um, I had to, I'll tell you a little short story, 30 seconds, right? Um, I had some friends who were involved in a show in, in this country where, where I'm in right now. And it was um, one of those, uh, I think it was kind of a, it was like a house swap or family swap or, or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But I know for a fact that that the people were paid extra money in cash if there was a conflict during an episode of filming. Are you serious? Um, I am serious. I talked to one of the people who was involved in the show, and they said they got extra cash for having a conflict with Don't the think. film. Room. Yeah, for finding something that was a problem somewhere and making some issue out of it. And it was this was not included in the contracts. It was a little side deal between the, the makers of the program and the people in the program. And they all knew about it, but they nobody could talk about it because then it kind of wouldn't be real, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there was that going on on, on, on the side. So, um, yeah, back to this guy. So you're talking about the, this guy and he's got, he's got issues with this person who's got issues with everything. <laughs> Oh. Right. Do you think these are stereotypical people for your your country? Do you think there's a, they they represent your country? Yeah, sure. They they, they do. And um, I would say that the I think I understand what you're saying now because the theme of this show is well in Nigeria you call it double wahala, but what? double wahala double wahala means double trouble. <laughs> wow. You understand. Okay. Okay. So I think I think right now I'm beginning to relate with you know where all these problems are you know are actually coming from. Yeah. Well, the thing is that problems are like dominoes, right? They they yeah. don't they don't exist in isolation. Um, one problem leads to another problem leads to another problem. My experience of problems is that is that most people can handle one problem. Most people can handle two problems. And then, but the problems build, and it's as you get a series of, of problems together that you sort of begin to lose control of things, right? Think about, you know, think about a plane flying. It can have a certain number of problems and it not affect the flight, but there's a limit. <laughs> mm, that's true. That's true. You're very correct. That, 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 the limit, even with even with things like human health, right? It's like, oh, you can have a pain in your 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 leg, a pain in your arm, but once. Yeah it gets beyond a certain point um it becomes it becomes very uncomfortable and um i i remember the first big brother type of series in in britain where i'm originally from now that was about 
who were going by 18, 19 years ago. Yeah. Okay. The first time, the first time it was on it in Britain and people were hooked. It was like a drug. <laughs> I was, it was, it was like a drug. Everyone had to watch every day. Everyone was talking about it. It, 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 it ran the media. You had to know who was where and, and, uh, you know, you know, what's happening at a point in time. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, you, you, you had to you had to follow it, and uh, it's it's kind of interesting. It's one of those questions where you know is is art reflecting life or is life re reflecting art? You know, are are people you know is this program a mirror of what's happening in reality, or are people just watching this and then they're going to copy what people do? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, so the. So, so what else is going on in the show? What, what kinds? Of, can you give me more examples of, uh, you know, the stress or the conflicts or? It's this, uh, well, it's just the same thing, you know. I mean, some, um, some. There are actually some other aspects of the show, you know, where you have some, some, something like Fear Factor. What's What's that? What's that? Fear Factor. You know, heard about Fear Factor? Uh, so, like, you know, some daring things you would do, like, like eat um, live stuff. You know, like live animals, and you know, oh, oh my God. <laughs> disgusting, right? <laughs> oh, it's like, uh, like, like, like the dare game. I dare you to do something, right? I bet you can, and you see who is the most extreme or something like that. And yeah, yeah, you know, now you 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 have someone instruct you. That's that's like a big brother, you know, uh -huh. with, with a deep voice. This is big brother. And stuff like that, <laughs> you know. And it comes, <laughs> and you know, it comes up with like, okay, fine. This is this is the task for today. You guys are gonna be seeing, you know, raw stuff. And it's, oh. well, it's fun oh. though. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, there's there's there, there's a fun element to it, and um, people sort of like challenges. And hey, when you're wh here's another thing: when you're trapped in a small space with a group of people, okay. you are not yourself. Mm. Because you can't be yourself, because you have to protect who you are. So you can't really show who you are to people. Uh, what's an example of this? Anytime you put a camera on a person, yeah, their behavior changes. Anytime exactly. you put a camera, yeah, put a camera, like, like, you know, put a mobile phone in front of people, and they'll <laughs> they come up with an accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, instant spaz. Like, nah. <laughs> oh no! So people, people either yeah. Some people like it. Some people panic. You know, people's reactions are different, but they're sort of definitely not themselves because, like, the the camera changes people's people's behavior. So it's it's even even if you know it, even if it's hidden, the camera's hidden. You still know it's there somewhere. Yeah. It's like people are going to watch me doing this or people are going to watch me like reading this book or you know the, people get the, like a little bit of privacy like there's no camera in the toilet hopefully right you know there's no camera in the shower shower hopefully but um you know these pro these programs are becoming more and more extreme there was a there was a european show called the box i believe it was in on british television and it was it's similar to the Big Brother principle, but it was an absolute extreme where they took two people, and there's a big there's a box, and you can't see inside the box, you can't see anything in in the box. There's only like a bed in the box, and they go into the box and they have sex, and then they come out and they're interviewed about their experiences. And this is a MG. <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> I just I did. I you know I'm I think like the medium of television should be something positively educational for people right but I don't get that that's exactly part of life as well well it is but I I don't uh, some people are exhibitionists I get it so they're going to enjoy that element of things but this was on I swear it was called the box and it was on British television at something like eight o'clock in the evening or something. Wow. Like if it was on at like two or three in the morning and no one really knew about it, or or if it was on some pay per view channel or something, okay. But I was just I couldn't Perhaps believe it. I was like, I, I think, um, oh, time's up. Yeah, time's up. Time's up. Time's up. But thank you very much for joining me on this show. Oh wow! So what's your podcast? You got a podcast? Put it out quickly. I, I should. I should. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much.